what up so welcome to this chick eats because this chick eats good want to tell you about two of my favorite finds lately i started with the first one i've got great things to say about this place one thing kind of irked me today but i'm kind of over it because <laughs> i went there for what i wanted so with this vlog i want to try to be truthful with you in all of my experiences with the places that i tell you about i want you to have a real version of what happens from a real person not souped up so that i can um like i work for them or that i'm trying to get something from them i just want you to know about good food in and around atlanta and the places to go that you may not have heard of or may have heard of and just well just basically tell you about my experiences so i'll start off with one of my favorite finds top notch lately revolution donuts and coffee okay love this place let me give you their address they're at 908 west college avenue decatur georgia right near the kirkwood area and also i'll be listing all this info in the about section um below the video so that you will be able to know exactly where they are and possibly go visit and let them know that this chick eats sent you but let me tell you revolution donuts is so damn good found out about them cruising facebook one day saw where a friend of mine from my friends list had commented or something or had joined their group or their fan page and i was like what is revolution donuts went to the page saw it was this donut place and i was like well i have to check it out because i love that side of town but let me just interject how much i'm loving the kirkwood avondale estates downtown decatur area like i need to win a lottery to get the condo there so i can be you know from one suburb to another but let's get back to the video Revolution Donuts started off via Kickstarter, and if you all know about Kickstarter, it's where people donate to help you get your business together. You present to them what you're trying to do. Um, you get the word out, let them know that you're trying to collect funds to start your business, and people donate on their own, and that's what they did for Revolution Donuts. And now they are a full brick and mortar business um, in the area of Kirkwood you will love them they put crispy cream to shame and i'm an atlanta native damn it and i have the right to say <laughs> that they put crispy cream to shame i'm saying it I, I i i stake my life on it you go visit get back to me and let me know what you think but they are so good first of all they're using quality ingredients as opposed to crispy cream the donut is really good because i think we've just really kind of well okay i'll just say for me got caught up in Krispy Kreme because it's um, a southern icon, so to speak, and you're just supposed to like it because it's Krispy Kreme and they've been here forever, and the hot sign goes off and it just triggers something into you. But once you taste Revolution Donuts, you'll be like, I need to go to Krispy Kreme and kick everybody's butt for, <laughs> for even existing. Until you come up to the par of Revolution Donuts, you ain't doing nothing if you're in the donut field. But I love Revolution Donuts. First of all, I, I've tried almost every donut there, except the, they have one with coconut. I just haven't tried. I don't know why, but I haven't tried it. But every donut there I like. I'd say my favorite is, of course, the vanilla bean, which is, if you're trying to compare one of their donuts to a Krispy Kreme donut, the Krispy Kreme original donut, it would be the vanilla bean. Way better, but that's, you know, if I'm trying to describe it to you, I'm just going to use that for a point of reference. Also, I love the salted caramel bacon. Try it. And right now, what I'm really loving, because it's the holiday season, is the eggnog cream brulee donut. Understand this. The eggnog cream brulee donut will change your life. Especially if you like eggnog, which I do. So I went this morning. Let me, can I just tell you how this all came about? First of all, I've been trying to catch the eggnog cream brulee donut because they're only making it on the weekend. They aren't making it through the week. And they sell out by the time I get there. Like, before 12, this donut is gone. So, I go to church every Sunday with my grandma. So, I decided I'm going to get this donut today. And I'm going to have to go, like, shortly after they open. So, I can make sure I try this donut. So, I take Granny to church. <laughs> I drop her off. I said, oh, I got to go do something. I'm going to be back. You know, I just got to go drop some stuff off somewhere. I went to Revolution Donuts to claim my damn eggnog cream brulee donut because that was the only way I was going to get it done. <laughs> I surely did, and it was worth the, the whole deceit of it. I don't care. Who knows? 
But so glad I finally got to try it because it is that good and it was worth it and it was everything I thought it would be. I went ahead and capped it off with the eggnog latte, which I thought was a little strong because I'm not really a coffee drinker and I only drink coffee really during the holiday season when there's the eggnog latte because I like the one at Starbucks, which is way milder than theirs. So maybe you just need to tell them to make it not so strong. But unless you're that strong coffee drinker, which I'm not. So, but it was okay. But I won't order it again just because it's really strong. I can just deal with the eggnog cream brulee, brulee donut and be cool with it. But the eggnog latte um, was a little strong for me. But still good. And what I like about their coffee is, like if you want a milk substitute, I had said soy, but they said, oh, we don't do soy, but we do almond. And I was like, great, that's even perfect because I do almond at home. So you can get the almond milk in your um, lattes. And whatever else you order, coffee that has some type of milk. But I love Revolution Donuts. I think you need to go. I think it's really good. But one thing today that really kind of almost pissed me off, because I've always become like a regular there, damn it. And I'm putting my thighs and my clothes in jeopardy by going there so much <laughs> as I do. So I make sure I do the little extra, you know, time in the gym or in my workout space on the treadmill or whatever. You know, I'm sacrificing what could happen to my thighs to go there. But I'm holding it down, though. Just understand that. So I didn't have my card on me. And I was like, oh my God, did I leave my card in the car? I said, I really want to use my card because I want to keep my cash on me. So I couldn't find it. I said, she rang me up and I said, can you hold a minute? I'm just going to step out to the car so I can get my card. And I was like, behold, I said, behold two eggnog cream brulee donuts because I'm coming right back. She said, well, I can't promise they'll be here. And I snapped <laughs> my head and looked at her. But I said, woosa, woosa. Just go get your card and come back. It'll be there. First of all, if I say to hold it because I'm coming back and you know you see me in there all the time, hold the damn donuts. I mean, really. But I'm going to let that slide because it all worked out and it all was erased after I had the eggnog cream brulee donut. <laughs> So make sure you get the Revolution Donuts. Get back to me and let me know how you feel about it. Did you like it? What are you thinking? What was your favorite? What did you try? All of that. Have you been there before? And you're hooked on it like I am. Are you sacrificing the possibility of your thighs and assets um, expanding for these donuts? Is it only me? I just need to know. The second place I really like is Urban Cannibals. I have an issue with them that I'm going to talk about. But let me say before I get to that that the food there is good everything i've tried i've had the philly steak i've had the um the breakfast items they have the banana fosters cheesecake waffle something something like that but it's good you don't they'll, they'll know what you're talking about oh french toast banana fosters cheesecake french toast something anyway that's really good i've had the shrimp salad i've had the biscuit the chicken biscuit is really good the biscuits are good like i went in there the first time i ordered the biscuit thinking that they gonna upset my spirit with the biscuit because it's nothing like being a woman from the south and you go somewhere and they say they have biscuits and and especially when you in the south and the biscuit ain't good it really hurts my damn feelings so i was prepared to go in there and not like the biscuit mm -mm, the biscuit was good top part and i even let them know i said you know what i was prepared to dog y'all out about this biscuit but damn it i cannot because this is a damn good biscuit so I've tried the things there, and I like it. I like the whole concept of it. It's fresh food. They do a lot of organic stuff. They're in the community of East Atlanta, and they work well with the community. I don't know their address but I, to say it in the video, but I'm going to put it below the video in the about comments, the about section above the comment section so you can check out where it is. But I really love that place. I love the food. And I'm loving the whole idea that so many restaurants are going to fresh organic foods or local foods that are grown here, you know, in the area, so that it helps out the whole economy of everything. What I don't like is that, okay, let me get to this because it just needs to be said because it upsets my spirit sometimes. <laughs> okay, so they don't have that many menus. Like, I guess they only print out or copy a certain number a day. And I guess people walk off with them because that's what people do. And that's why you need to have extra menus for takeout so people can take one home if they want to call in an order or show it to somebody. So this one chick... I think she's one of the owners. Every time I go in there and I have the menu, she always wants to say, can I have the menu? Or if she, if she thinks I'm walking off, she always wants to say something about, don't take the menu. I'm like, D dude, I've been trained. I've been here before. I know not to take the damn menu. I mean, really? I'm like, is this chick a Virgo or something? Because only Virgos act like that, kind of stoic, you know, and just kind of, 
about business of everything with really no type of connection with the customer. That's just the way I'm seeing it. Whatever. Just like, what is up? And I even told the other girl that cooks, which I think is the other owner, and she was like, was everything okay? I said, mm, yeah, it was pretty good. She was like, what? I said, no, you know what? I'm not going to say. You know, it's, I, I just want to make a big deal. She said, you have to tell me. I said, the, the menu thing pisses me off. <laughs> she, looked, she was like, well, you know, so she tried to explain about how they copy, and wherever they're copying it supposedly costs a dollar a copy. Anyway, and so they, you know, so they only have a certain number, which I totally get. But, damn it, if I'm walking off with it, shut up, maybe. Give me a chance to see if I'm going to put the damn menu back. Stop being the menu Nazi, please. But anyway, great food. I'll definitely go back. But the, watch out for the menu Nazi. Great, she has this great, beautiful afro that she wears out sometimes, which is gorgeous, which actually gives her some points, really, and made me not just want to go off on her because anybody with a fabulous afro gets a pass from me. But damn it, be be careful of the menu Nazi. Anyway, the food is there. I love it. Like I said, it's fresh and local and great. They do like daily specials, weekly specials, and they have like so much going on. They're really the people in the community are really support and they're really involved in the community and especially the community of Atlanta by using local foods. So I love them. So check out these, those two places. If you've been there, let me know. If you go, let me know. What did you order? How was it? All of that. You know, let's talk about it. Remember, um, I'll be doing more of the places that I like and go to around Atlanta because, as y'all know, this chick eats and this chick eats good. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye.